So the, there's a, there's this wild fact. Um, I think I think it came from from your paper. Is that between 2016 and 2024, the amount of plastic in the human brain has gone up 50. percent So just mm-hmm. in that eight year span, mm-hmm. you know, in the last nine years, that, that's wild. 50. Mm-hmm. percent What what are we what what's changed in our packaging or our food processing mm-hmm. to allow that to happen? Now from a from a physiological level, how how does plastic get past the blood brain barrier? Mm-hmm. So I think one thing is, so there's microplastics and there's nanoplastics, and I'm forgetting okay. the exact measurement differences of these, Right. Um, but we see more of the nanoplastics, so the smaller plastics that are actually getting to the brain. The brain, as we know, is lipophilic, and for some reason, the plastics like to follow that pathway, and they, they may end up in the brain as a result of that. Um, okay. There's been other interesting research, I think it was in JAMA Network Open, maybe, um, looking at the olfactory pathway, so um, to get to the brain as well, too. Mm. Um, so there's not a definitive link of how these plastics are actually getting to the brain because we know that the blood-brain barrier is usually pretty good at this. Yeah. The other thing uh, that I didn't mention in that nature medicine study is that they found people with dementia actually had higher amounts of plastics in their brain compared to those that didn't. So again, this is an association. It doesn't mean that microplastics cause dementia because we know in Alzheimer's disease, the blood-brain barrier is also leakier which would permit the inflow of more microplastics. So the arrow mm, can that go makes sense. Yeah. both ways. So not to say microplastics cause dementia, but again, I don't think it's a crazy hypothesis to say having plastic in your brain <laughs> yeah. accelerates some of these processes because we know that even something like Alzheimer's is, is there's a lot of hypothesis about clearance of, of waste products and the glymphatic right. system. And again, having plastics there to obstruct that or cause inflammation may not allow that process to happen. So I do think the arrow is bi-directional there for microplastics being higher in someone with dementia. But if there is a causative element, I think that is also very relevant to, to pay attention to, given what you mentioned in the last few years, a 50% rise is not insignificant.